Hey everyone, today I am taking you shopping with me. I'm going back up to Buckhead to go shopping at Hermes and Dior. And I also wanna check out the Real Real. Last time I was there, I didn't know that they just opened up a store over there in Atlanta and I've never been inside, so I wanted to go check it out. So I'm here, I'm actually waiting in line at Starbucks <laughs> to get something to eat and drink on the way because it is a trek for me to head up there. So today I'm wearing this sweatshirt says cha cha from LM and just jeans and, and then I have these LV flats right here. My bag of the day is this denim Fendi Mama baguette. That's it. So I'm just in line and we will head up there and see what they have to offer. I haven't been there in a while. My last vlog update, it was kind of sad, I guess, because my husband was really sick. And thank you so much, everyone, for asking how he's doing. He's a lot better. He's recovering. He's He was on oxygen for a while. And so he finally got off oxygen and he's just been great. I've been doing a lot of advent calendar videos. So check those out if you're interested or if you've kind of been curious about advent calendars and you don't want to shell out the money, I am gladly willing to pay for my favorites. So opening up the window now. So I'm going to grab my Starbucks and then I'll catch up with you soon. Hey everyone, I just parked. I'm here in Buckhead at the shops and I had to share my parking spot because I got a primo parking spot. I'm right here in front of Hermes right there and then Dior is right across the way so there's Dior and then the real real is right there on the other side I had no idea that was there so I'm excited to go check it out so okay I will check in with you in a little bit bye Hey everyone, I'm done shopping. I just went to the three stores today, Hermes and Dior, and then I tried out the Real Real for the first time. Oh no, I also stopped by Louboutin. And I was very close to buying a pair of the studded flip-flops, but I really don't need flip-flops. I just, I don't need it. And so I finally got to try the Birkin 30 and the 35 and the 25. And shockingly, the 25 is so small. Like it, it is way too small. Not that I think I, might even be able to get it. It's such a desired size. It's harder to get and then the resale prices are a lot higher, but I really liked the 35. I thought it would be too big for me, but I like the size. You know, I'm used to big bags, so anyway, we'll see. But I, I picked up a few things today, something from Hermes, something from Dior, and, and then something really small from The Real Real. They sell a lot of stuff, not just their designer consignment stuff, but I guess they are buyers for like cute little eclectic kind of things, so. But that is it. Yep, it is a trek to come up here. So I will share with you what I picked up soon. I think I will try to shop at Lenox Mall sometime soon and Phipps Plaza again. But yeah, I'll come back and maybe show you what I got. Hey guys, I am back from shopping and it was an informative trip. So that was my first visit to the Real Real boutique 
and it was like a throwback to prime Y2K fashion because all <laughs> the classics, all these vintage bags were on display and I just thought it was so cool and I was like, oh, I have that one, I have that one. They had the Dior Girly bowling bag, the pink one with the crystals and flowers. It was so cool to see everything all at once. It was like being in a rich person's closet. So I got a chance to try out the Birkins that they had available and it was eye-opening. So up until now, I really hadn't, I think I had seen whatever size, like a B30, a Birkin 30 and a Birkin 35, but I had not tried a Birkin 25. And a lot of people who are maybe the same height as me, I'm very short, I'm not, even 5'1". A lot of people recommend the Birkin 25 to me because I'm very short. And so I thought, okay, yeah, I really need to start moving towards smaller size bags, but it was so small. It was very small. And, but the worst part was the handles were very short. And so it was hard to like get your hand through, maybe for my second or third. But if I do get a Birkin, I probably for my first one would want a Birkin 30 or 35. I just thought those sizes were more practical for me, but it was fun to try it out. They were super helpful. They have a huge inventory that's available to them. The boutique itself, this is the Atlanta boutique. The boutique itself isn't huge. And so they didn't have a lot of items there, although they did have some Birkins. If you're looking for something very specific, I recommend you go ahead and look up online what they have. And then if you plan on going into the boutique, contact them first and request to have it. If there's something you wanna see that they don't have, have them transfer it. There's no charge or fee to request a transfer and they'll go ahead and transfer it from one of their other boutiques in California or New York, then you can go see it in the store. But yeah, they were very helpful, very knowledgeable about all the different leathers and sizes. It was a good trip. And actually before I went in, I called the store ahead of time to see what they had available. And the guy who helped me was, was super helpful. And he actually texted me pictures of the items that they had to give me a heads up, you know, before I went ahead and, and went in the store. So I did get something from The Real Real. This is the little bag they have. And so, yeah, in addition to bags and, you know, accessories, they have some home decor and not everything is designer. They have some special pieces that they buy and sell. So anyway, I got a candle. <laughs> This is Maison Louis Marie, and the fragrance is number five, Candle Lily. When I walked into the store, I was like, oh my gosh, what is that smell? It smells so good. It's It was like this divine scent permeating the air. And they said, oh, it's this, it's this candle. So it tells you here the notes, top note is Ylang Jasmine, mid is tuberose and white lily, and then the base is sandalwood. It smells so good. I couldn't, I was like, I have to have it. <laughs> so it's $34, so very, not cheap. So this is it, very plain looking. Oh, it smells so good. This smells so good. This smells like diptyque tuberose, but a bigger size. So we'll be lighting this very soon. So that's from The Real Real. And then I got a little something from Hermes and it's not a bag. <laughs> By the way, the Hermes store in general, they had almost no bags. Literally, there were no garden party tote, no airbag. They had a grooming tote, which is what I had over the summer. They had a gray one in, you know, on display. They didn't have anything. There was literally one bag in the entire store. And I was like, what is this? And I already forget the name, but my essay said, oh, that's, I said, what is this? This looks like the Gucci Jackie O bag, you know, the very signature, you know, kind of like shoulder bag with the little harness clip kind of equestrian style. And he said, oh, this is the whatever bag. And he said, actually Gucci, their inspiration for the Jackie O bag came from this Hermes bag. And I said, oh, history. So anyway, Hermes got something small. They had their key catalog, by the way. So new catalog, these are really cute. Remember magazines and catalogs and what else? Oh, okay. This is old. <laughs> this is the spring summer textiles from this year. So this is kind of old already, but I just have that in there. This is what I got. And if you watch the vlog at the beginning, you'll see it in the video. I was debating which to get. This is the box and I got, it's a bowl and it's the mosaic pattern. I have a smaller plate that I use as a, like a ring plate or jewelry, like a, a jewelry holder. There it is on the back. It's the mosaic collection. There's the detailing right there, a little H mosaic. So I got this as a candle holder. Yes, I have a ton of candles that I recently unboxed in all of my various advent calendars. And so I wanted to have a plate or like a bowl or tray to hold a candle. So I wanted something smaller, but they didn't really have that. So I said, oh, okay. So he showed me this and I thought, oh, okay. I, this actually would work because then I can just put a few in one. 
Actually, I thought I could, I could do three, but I, I could actually do four. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> so I got an Hermes plate candle holder for all the candles that I recently unboxed. And that is how I plan to use it. So here it is with four. You can do it with three. So I'll just put this out on my vanity. And then let me just show you. So this is what it looks like from the top. So you can still see the little Hermes in the middle. But yeah, so that's it. So that's my shopping vlog and mini haul. I got a candle from The Real Real and an Hermes plate bowl candle holder. <laughs> This is it together. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have been to The Real Real, if you've shopped from them online or if you've visited their boutique. If you're trying to compare different sizes of things or different, totally different bags, it's a great place to literally see it side by side because they have all the designers. But yeah, it was really fun. I definitely plan on going back again and checking out some of the other stuff they have. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.